Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm so glad to have you here today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm cooking for supper. I'm going to be making vegetable soup. It is about 1.30 right now. I'm going to go ahead and cook it so it can cook until we eat, which is around 5 o'clock. So if you're interested, then let's get started. All right, so to cook this recipe, I need one pound of hamburger meat. I also need two potatoes, an onion, salt, pepper, garlic, a can of green beans, peas, carrots, corn, black-eyed peas, diced tomatoes, and tomato puree. We need one big pot, and then we need it on high. We're going to cook the meat in this pot, then drain the grease, and then dump everything in one pot. So now, first I'm going to do is dump the hamburger meat in here and get it cooking. Then I'm going to add the garlic and dice up my onion so it can all cook with the hamburger meat. Alright, so now it's all diced up. I'm just adding it in along with the garlic and I'm also going to be adding the pepper and the seasoning salt and then we'll just let it all cook up and when it is done I will drain the grease and come back. While it is cooking, I'm just going to be prepping the potatoes. I'm going to peel them as good as I can and then dice them up smallly. And you don't have to pre-cook the potatoes because when you dump them in with all the juices and stuff, you let the soup kind of stay on a, not a boil boil, but kind of like a little bubble. And it will cook the potatoes. The longer you let it cook, the better because the potatoes will be more done and the flavor will be there better too. So now I'm just going to pre-open all my cans and when you do this I don't drain any of the juice out of any of the cans because you want the juice so you can have something for your potatoes to boil in unless you like your st soup, stew, whatever more thick than juicy but I don't because I also make cornbread or grilled cheese on the side and I like to have something to you know some juice for it. Alright, so I just dumped all the cans and the potatoes in there and on my puree can I just drained one can of the juices into it to get the rest of the sauce out. So I'm going to make sure everything is all mixed together bringing the meat up from the bottom and then I will just cover it on the top and let it cook till we're ready to go. Okay, so this is it. It's been cooking for a while now and it's looking great, smells great. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.